In this video, you'll learn how to optimize your XML sitemap for SEO. By the end of this video, you'll know What is an XML sitemap? What to include in your XML sitemap for maximum SEO? How to create an XML sitemap? And how to submit your XML sitemap to Google? In simple terms, an XML sitemap is a file that lists all important pages of your website that search engines should know about. It is not a static file, but it needs to be updated automatically when a new page is added to your website or when changes are made to existing pages. It must be in a specific format recognized by search engines. The most common format is XML. You can have separate sitemaps for your posts, images, and videos. Just to be clear, even if you don't have a sitemap, search engines can still index your website, but having a sitemap makes their job easier, gives you the opportunity to let them know about pages or parts of your website they may not discover easily. It's a way to communicate to search engines that a page's content have changed. Let's see what to include in your XML sitemap for maximum SEO. Include in your sitemap the pages that are important for your website. These are the pages that have high-quality content and are more likely to bring organic traffic to your website. Exclude pages that have duplicate content. Good candidates are archive pages, tag pages, and author pages. Exclude pages with thin content. They are pages with little or no content and are considered by search engines as low quality. Organize your sitemap into sub-sitemaps. This has the additional advantage of making sitemaps smaller and faster to process. In case you have videos embedded within your content, submit a separate sitemap for your videos. Add your sitemap in robots.txt. Include only URLs that Google can access. If you have pages that are blocked by robots or behind a password-protected area, do not include those pages in the sitemap. Make sure that your XML sitemap includes the Last Modification Time field, a value that tells Google when a page was last modified. The first step is to check if your website has a sitemap. Open a new browser window and navigate to yourdomain.com slash sitemap.xml or yourdomain.com slash sitemap underscore index.xml. If there is a sitemap, then make sure that it is optimized and then submit your sitemap to Google and Bing. If there is no sitemap available, you need to create one. There are many ways to create an XML sitemap. Many platforms have this functionality built in, but even if they don't, it's easy to create one using a third-party tool. For non-WordPress websites, the best way to create a sitemap is to search Google for plugins or software that is integrated into your platform and can generate sitemaps according to Google guidelines. For WordPress websites, as of version 5.5, WordPress has a built-in sitemap generator, but it's very basic. It is recommended to use a third-party plugin. Let's see how to create and optimize your XML sitemap using the free version of Yoast SEO. If you have the plugin installed and activated, the first thing to do is to enable the XML sitemap functionality by going to Yoast SEO, General, Features, XML Sitemaps. The next step is to configure what to include in your XML sitemap. Click Search Appearance and then Content Types. For each of the content types, you need to decide if this is something you want to include in your sitemap. If you set Show in Search Results to Yes, then the particular content type will be included in your sitemap. If you choose No, it will be excluded. In a typical scenario, you only need to include your posts, pages, and products in the case of e-commerce websites and exclude everything else. Next you need to select taxonomies and do the same. In other words, you need to select which taxonomies you want to be included in your sitemap. In a normal scenario, you should only include your post and product categories and exclude anything else, like post tags or pages that don't have unique content of their own. The next and final step is to go to Archives and disable Author and Date Archives. 
To view your sitemap, click See the XML sitemap from General Features, or open a new browser window and navigate to yourdomain.com slash sitemap underscore index dot XML. If you click on any of the links, you'll notice that it includes images as well, so you don't need to create a separate sitemap for your images. There are two ways to submit your sitemap to Google. The first way is to add it to your robots.txt file, and the second way is to submit your sitemap in Google Search Console. For the best results, you can use both methods. To add your sitemap in robots.txt, you need to use an FTP client and connect to your website's root folder. Open your robots.txt file with a text editor and add a line at the end to include your sitemap. Save the changes and upload the file to your server. To submit your XML sitemap through the Google Search Console, follow these steps. Log into Google Search Console and then click Sitemaps under Index. Type in your sitemap file name and click the Submit button. Once you do this, you will see that the sitemap is pending. Check back in a few days to see how many pages were submitted in your sitemap and how many pages were actually indexed. A final note about XML sitemaps is that once it is submitted to Google, you won't have to submit it again. Google will constantly monitor the sitemap for changes and new content. The only cases where you should resubmit the sitemap is when doing a website redesign, changing the domain, or changing your permalink structure. That's everything you need to know about XML sitemaps. When you set up and optimize your sitemap correctly, you can rest assured that your new content and any changes will be indexed by search engines.